Hello friends. My name is Jose Luis. Today I'm going to show you how to make a folding stool with a beautiful and easy to make canvas. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe. It would help me a lot. I'll leave the measurements at the end of the video. Let's get started. We begin by marking the four legs, ensuring the tips are aligned. Using a square, we mark the center and also mark the top end with a 6 cm cross piece. We mark at 1 cm and 4 cm. This is where we will place the tip of the three-point drill bit. Then we leave a 7 cm gap and mark the width of the bottom cross piece. We also mark at 1 cm and 1 cm, which will be used for drilling with a 20 mm diameter drill bit. On the other side, we mark the same measurements to be able to drill and make the hole on both sides of the face. At 1 cm and 4 cm on the bottom part, we mark the same measurements, 7 cm and the width of the cross piece. This is how we initiate the drilling on both sides. We mark the center of the four legs in the same way using a marking gauge. We mark the center on both sides with the marking gauge, and then we use a punch to create a small indentation for the tip of the three-point drill bit to fit easily. We repeat the same process on the other side. We mark the round tips with a circle of 4.5 cm in diameter. This is for the center, and we use a 7 mm or 0.7 cm diameter drill bit for the round-headed bolt. Here we will use a 20 mm or 2 cm diameter 3-point drill bit. It aligns perfectly with the edge of the width of the crosspiece. We mark this as the top crosspiece, and this will be the box that we will open with the jigsaw. Well, Let's cut the top part with the jigsaw, removing the rounded part. Then we open the box, when we uncover it. We turn it around and clean the other side as well. We repeat the same process on the other side. We continue cutting the four legs. Now I'll show you how I'm going to round the edges of the cross pieces so they can fit into the box. I'm using a quarter round router bit to round the cross piece. Once they're ready, I'll sand them and carefully remove any sharp edges to make them neat. I test them out. I already have this frame of the legs assembled. This goes on the inside. Now I start applying glue. 
applying adhesive to the box and to the tenon on the bottom of the crosspiece. We don't apply glue to the top one because we have to remove it. I'll try fitting the leg inside and make sure there isn't too much space between the two legs. It should be around 2 to 3 millimeters. I square it up and drill it with a 3 millimeter guide bit. We will use 4 mm, 52 mm long screws, slightly angled so they grip better and won't wobble. I make sure the screws are facing downwards, so they will be on the top side, and I insert the round-headed bolts. I tighten the nails a bit and tap them to flatten the nut, so they won't come off. I remove the screws again to take out the crosspiece. I turn it over and remove the crosspiece. Now I show you the canvas with eyelets, I slide the crosspiece in and reassemble it. I remove the other side, pass it through the eyelet, and rotate it there. I attach the safety screws on both sides, adjust them, screw them in, and it's done. The stool is ready. Well, friends, the folding stool with canvas is ready. Very beautiful and easy to make. The height from the ground to the canvas is 34 centimeters. And this space I left here on the canvas is 35 centimeters. If you make it a little shorter, the stool will be a bit higher. Well friends, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you have any questions, leave a comment, and I will respond. See you in the next video. Bye bye.